Hey, what's going on YouTube? Now, many tech websites have reported the specifications of the GTX 780, 770, and 760 Ti. NVIDIA is planning to release the 780 and 770 in late May and 760 sometime in early June. Now, this is in no way an official announcement from NVIDIA, but it's a lot better than the previous guesswork and speculation because these websites cite sources from Asia trade shows where Computex will take place in Taipei in May. What is interesting about this plan is that NVIDIA is planning to release these GPUs in very close proximity together, whereas the launches of the 600 series of GPUs were staggered. So in my previous video on the 700 series, I showed a roadmap analysis that revealed the Maxwell architecture of GPUs in 2014. Click on the picture to see it. Some information in that video is still valid, but this new information adds very crucial points. Maxwell for certain will be designated 800 not 700 as previously speculated. NVIDIA is indeed releasing a capital refresh of GK110 and GK104 chipsets, and these cards will be named in the 700 range. Additionally, NVIDIA is rumored to be releasing an upscale Titan called the Titan Ultra, but any sort of specification is pure speculation at this point. Let's look at the specs of the revealed GPUs. With the raw numbers, we can see that out of the new cards, only the 780 is of GK110 core. There were leaked numbers a while back regarding a possible Titan LE or a slimmed down Titan. The specifications of that card matched up perfectly into the GTX 780. Out of the new GPUs, the 780 looks to be the only one that is a pure refresh of 28 nanometer Kepler GPUs. The 770 and 760 Ti still use the GK104 core and look to be enhanced, not refined or refreshed, versions of existing 600 series cards. In terms of how they performed, this is a chart I made myself using my skills in paint. The 780 stands by itself and has 30% better performance than a stock 680. Even on its best overclocking day, a 680 can't come close to the 780, and you can overclock the 780 to be even faster. This effectively bridges the gap between the 680 and the Titan. The 770 is better than a 670 by 20 to 25 percent, or a 680 with a slight overclock, so we can say that it is the successor to the 680. The 760 Ti has a 20 percent to 30 percent performance advantage over the 660 Ti, so it's like the current gen 670 with an overclock. The AMD 7970 fits in between the 770 and the 760 Ti. All of the cards will have more video RAM relative to their previous card generation equivalent. In terms of pricing, it makes too much sense to drop prices for the 600 series equivalents because with the new pricing plan, you can get better than 680 performance for up to $80 less. In terms of 600 versus 700 series, Prospective builders and upgraders should hold off until the official announcement from NVIDIA and orders open up. Now, new graphics cards are usually very difficult to get a hold of. It might be as difficult as it was to get a hold of the 680 at launch, but now they're launching three SKUs in very close proximity to each other, so depending on demand, it could be a lot quicker to get a hold of a new graphics card. The 600 series is still a great affordable solution for mid to high end graphics on a single monitor at 1080p, and multi GPU 600 should handle most games at near max settings through 2014. What's cool about the 700 series coming out is that it gives builders more options. You definitely get better scaled performance and longer lasting GPUs, but now you have single GPU solutions over multi GPU 600s to get similar results at 1080p single screen gaming. But where the 700 series will really shine is high resolution and 3D gaming because of its high video RAM. Now high resolution and 3D gaming are much more mainstream. 1440p triple monitor gaming or 3D gaming are pretty common and they make good use out of multi-GPU 700 series especially with their high amounts of video RAM. Now all of these performance statistics are based off of raw specifications. They haven't done any benchmarking in games yet, and that's when we'll really get a good idea of what we can expect out of the performance of these GPUs. Pricing isn't finalized yet, but when these GPUs hit the market and the prices of old GPUs drop, definitely assess your gaming goals and which of these GPUs or combinations of GPUs will best help you reach those goals. 
As for me personally, I am very interested in a two-way SLI GTX 780, but I'm still waiting for prices to be finalized. Let me know which of these GPUs interest you the most. If you're interested in upgrading, let me know whether you want a 700 series GPU or you're waiting for the price drop on the 600 series GPU. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next video.